Hey guys, I finally douched out my son's computer. God, I can't even remember when I built this thing. It was like three years ago. Never uh, fully changed out the fluid. Started off with some Fesser UV black that immediately went to gray and turned all the tubes gray and made everything look super nasty. And, uh, you know, I, I don't know if you guys realize, but you can douche your whole system out without disassembling any tubes and get almost all the scunge and gross stuff out of your tubes. Look at how nice and clean those tubes are. You can see right through them, right? Before, they were totally opaque and gray. Same with the uh, res. You can see that the res is perfectly clear. I've got a few drops of green food dye in there. And the process for this, okay, is really amazingly simple. First, you dump out as much water as you can. Try and get the thing empty. Then fill it up with vinegar and some water and run it. You don't have to run it very long, maybe 10 minutes. And then massage the tubes with your fingers and you'll see that the stuff starts coming right off. At this point, you want to dump out the crap, fill it with water. There's still going to be plenty of vinegar in there. You keep going. And you just keep adding water and dumping it out, you know, run it, dump it out, run it, dump it out. I probably filled it and emptied it, I don't know, about six, seven times. Okay, now you're still going to have vinegar in there. Now that's bad because it'll continue to eat away at the brazing in your radiator. Now here's how you neutralize the vinegar. You put in a teaspoon of baking soda. Now you've got to have your system open to do this. You want to be near a sink. It's going to foam up. Just dump it out as it foams up, add more water, run it a little bit, massage the tubes, dump it out, rinse, dump, rinse, dump, more baking soda, rinse, dump, rinse, dump. Finally, you're going to get to the point where you've got clear water. I mean, no color at all. And at that point, you have removed a good majority of the deposits. Now, yeah, you could open your block up and scrub it out. You could op take all the tubes out and, you know, clean them with a swab or whatever, but... As you can see, came out pretty nice, very clear, nice and beautiful. And so once you've gotten uh, the water neutralized and everything, make sure that you get as much of the water out as possible, refill it, and you're good to go without having to take anything apart. It probably took me about an hour.